Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Dr. Satpate from Stock Market Files. In this video, we will learn how to uh, trade using Bollinger Bands and candlestick patterns. Now, uh, the Bollinger Bands looks like this. Yeah? So, uh, these Bollinger Bands were found uh, founded by Mr. John Bollinger. Yeah? So, this uh, in Bollinger Band, we have these three lines, right? These three lines. The middle line, uh, the, this is called as upper Bollinger Band, upper Bollinger Band, this is lower Bollinger Band and this is the middle band. This middle band is actually 20 period moving average, simple moving average, 20 MA. And these two lines are formed by using, by taking the standard deviation from this 20 MA, right. So we will not go into the mathematics of this, but this middle line is called as middle Bollinger Band which is 20 period moving average, right. Now, how to trade using this Bollinger Band, right? Now, in, now, in Bollinger Band, this upper Bollinger line is normally considered as resistance. Resistance. This lower band is considered as support. Support, right? Now, you should trade if you are using candlestick patterns for taking a trade you should take a trade here at the resistance for the reversal right and here at the support for again a bullish reversal here you should take a trade for a bearish reversal here you should take a trade for bullish reversal so how do you how can you take a trade now if uh, here the market must be moving like this and here you should observe the bearish candlestick reversal pattern the bearish candlestick reversal pattern now the patterns which you already studied or discussed uh, you may have a single candlestick formation here like a shooting star you may observe a shooting star here or you may observe uh, the bearish engulfing pattern you may observe an evening star you may observe a dark cloud cover you may observe a bearish harami here if you observe such kind of formation here and uh, at, uh, at the breakout of this formation you may take a short trade uh, by having this as a target and by having this as the, uh, the stop loss right so you may take a short trade here at the upper Bollinger Band considering this upper Bollinger Band as the resistance right with uh, uh, but the trade should be taken whenever you have such a formation here right? the formation is the bearish formation bearish candlestick formation either one candle formation, two candle formation or three candle formation, right? Similarly, at the support level or at the lower Bollinger Band, you may uh, take, you may uh, find or observe uh, the bearish uh, bullish candlestick formation here. If you observe that, uh, you may take a long trade here with this as your target and this as your stop loss. The formations are the single candlestick like hammer, if you, may, if you observe hammer here, or if you observe a dragonfly doji or if you observe a uh, the bullish engulfing pattern or if you observe a morning star if you observe a bullish harami here right um, so in such formation uh, if you observe such formations here you may take the trade here long trade here with this as your target and uh, uh, this as your uh, this support as your uh, stop loss so that is how you can trade Bollinger Bands. Of course, there are various other methods to trade uh, Bollinger Bands like the squeeze, right, the trend uh, and so on and so forth. But if you are using, if you want to use candlestick patterns and Bollinger Bands together, so this is the best way. Observing the bearish candlestick formation at the upper Bollinger Band, taking and then taking a short trade observing the bullish candlestick formation at the lower Bollinger Band and taking the bullish train, right. So that is how you can uh, take the trade using Bollinger Bands. So please stay tuned to watch the, I will be showing the live examples of this. So please stay tuned to watch the live examples of this. Thank you so much for watching.